What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover. This one, episodes 165 and 166. First one is called Water Crusade. That gets me way, way too excited. We are finishing this journey out right now. With that being said, we are finishing it live over on Twitch. If you guys don't know, you can watch it live with me uncut over at twitch.tv slash Darius. All the future reactions, everything from movies to other shows will be up here as well. Check out the Patreon for early access and full length to this show and all the other shows by four episodes. All the links for everything are in the description down below like always. Don't forget to check out the other social medias, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episode 165. Oh, I know it's going to be crazy. This one's called Water Crusade. <sighs> Yahoo! I love female crazy characters who are like that, that like talk like that, like Toga and other ones. You know, I just love those deranged female characters. We're in, back in the Spade Kingdom. I wonder who they could be talking about. Who would be a spy? And is it just a rumor? That's like the tablet with the magic stones. The Lord Dante's room. Ooh, that's like some Kingdom Hearts shit. Just disappearing into the shadows. I like his water magic though, like a water serpent. That's horrifyingly scary. Yep, that's like some Demon Slayer shit. Bye-bye, you're dead. Actually, fuck with that magic heavy. I don't know who this is, though. A Clover Kingdom spy who can go into the shadows. Wait, I don't want to look at the opening. Can't open it, but... We don't... Okay, it, the only thing I can think of, it has to be... Yami saw somebody who can go in the shadows 10 years ago, said, <laughs> you're funny here's a black bulls outfit it's the only thing i can think of it's yami that's literally the only thing i can think of it's like what there's some i don't what how is black clover ending right now this is like this is the craziest it's ever been now hmm I'm only pausing this because I'm just trying to get the motivations of everyone because Zenon went to the Clover Kingdom in order to get uh, William, who is needed for their ultimate plan. Um, Dante went to go get Yami, who is needed for their ultimate plan. And so Vanica says he's, she's here for Laura Pechka. Is Laura Pechka a part of the plan? I mean, I could understand her being a part of the plan. Or are we just trying to get rid of a, an adversary who we're dealing with? I'm just curious about that. Because so far, they seem to be, in terms of the Dark Triad, they seem to only move when they need to, you know? Okay, this guy is fucking horribly creepy. Bro, put your tongue back in your mouth. This is not Pokemon. He could bite his tongue off doing that. Jesus. Annika is, at the end of the day, twisted and demented. Jesus Christ, this is so weird. Wait, so is that all of them? So even the ones Gaja, Leopold, Luck... Oh, yep. Yeah. Well, thanks for answering that for me, Black Clover. Jesus Christ. Yep. <sighs> that was such a cool spell from all of them, though. Charmy, Luck, Leo, Gaja. Oh, Luck doesn't mind. He's like, round two? Bring it on. Well, I mean, you wouldn't really intimidate any of us by doing that. Come on. You think we're just going to give up and not keep going? Yes, I actually do want to see Laura Pechka and Undine go crazy. Ooh, okay, in her royal outfit. You know, when this music plays, the fight is starting. Ooh, Sea Dragons were off rip. Blood magic. So, she uses blood, Xenon uses bone, and Dante uses gravity magic. Ugh, I hate the way they animate that saliva around his tongue. That's disgusting. Come on, Mimosa. So, 2v1 on Vanica, and Mimosa's gonna handle Lickitung. Okay. I can't lie, though. Blood magic... She's like overhaul. She can just kill and replace and re... Like, what the hell? That's insane. 
Each of them used two, so that's why Dante was able to use gravity and something else. Their own and the one the devil has. Really? So she's ready. She looks so much more like intimidating and crazy and badass without her glasses. And I, I say that and as I'm the one who's going to be getting glasses soon. <laughs> I love how her blood magic is like an avatar. Like it almost looks like the Okotsu spirit in JJK. It's crazy. So they're needed and she just wants to have fun. I see. He's putting the pieces together of what they're going to do. I mean, I know that. I didn't know she literally had a physical... So she has a literal materialization of that library? Okay, that's insane. It's so similar to Avatar The Last Airbender where we could access that knowledge and... Oh, so she can... At some point, there's been talk, of, you know, the Heart Kingdom many, many, many eons ago of this tree of Klee Floth that all the D... Oh, this is... Ooh, I love it, though. So she knows exactly what she's talking about. She was like, oh, she was able to put the pieces together so fast. I love that. Ninety percent is a high ass number too. So let's not let them do that. Let's kill Vanica right here. Let's okay some water column prism. Let's suffocate her and kill her right now. Manazone and Mana Method, the water spirit magic on top of that. Okay, Ludig Sanctuary. That's like the size of her entire city. Wow, talk about a support system. Powers up Noel and gives a disadvantage to Vanica. I like it. So she has like a light mobile form. What are we turning into a mermaid? Are we getting like webbed feet? It literally is Mermaid Noel. She's kind of a waifu. Yeah, what is behind her eye patch? Why is her? She's like infesting her water with her blood. Oh my god, it's gonna be so hard to kill these devil fucking bastards. Such a dope Noel moment too. Why, man? Ooh. Noel is so fast, but so is Vanica. What the hell is going on? We're finally bringing her up. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. No, it's a wrap. That's like some Kurapika Hunter Hunter shit. Nah, we're killing her. I love how we get flashes of the training that we didn't get to see over the time. Can we all agree, though, that Noel? I mean, Mimosa is my waifu of the show, but Noel, oh my god, she's amazing. Like, I can't get over how fucking dope both of them are. Yeah, I don't think anyone's ever questioned whether you're worthy. You're one of the most caring people I've seen in the show. I mean, it's good for someone in her position to feel that guilt, to feel that pressure, you know? Because they need to. They need to know what the weight of their actions, you know, have and the consequences of them. But, aw, that is sad. He's probably stressed as fuck. I couldn't even picture the amount of responsibility that would be on you, you know? I feel stressed editing TikToks, and she's the queen of a kingdom. It is cool that she has Mimosa and Noel, not only as training partners, but like, they've grown into, you know, close friends over the, over the months. And Nero as well, obviously, but that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> she is unbelievably clumsy. You know when a character is in a tricky situation and they think back at a time like that or a flashback like that, they're gonna go, they're gonna surpass their limits. I love the difference in the red and the blue right here though. 
such a dark red and such a light blue. Now, her and Zenin can only go to 80 total, right? So she's using almost all her full power. Okay. Our trump card. Our mage of the art. Yeah, I was literally... Like, I was wondering where Nero was, but... I wasn't gonna say nothing. What's up with this music in the background right now? Here comes Nero out of nowhere. Eternal prison. Get that devil out of her. Seal that hoe up. It's so crazy how Nero thought and deemed her own magic to be somewhat useless in certain scenarios, but she's literally our, our trump card. It's actually crazy. I don't get how they have petite clovers after episodes like this. I just can't not be like geeked out of my mind, you know? On to episode 166. This one is called Yami Sukehiro. Our main man himself. <laughs> what the hell? It's raining blood. It's a blood tornado. It's a blood typhoon. What the hell? Oh, he was able to seal her too. So it is Megacula talking right now. The eye patch burns away. Oh, he creepy as a motherfucker. Decaying world. Uh huh. I love these shots. How Vanica's on that side. Make this is crazy. Oh my god, she's like melting away. Now we're gonna get some backstory, man. No, because that only makes me think Undine's gonna die. I want you guys to be like Undine next time I say I'm taking a day off. There's always tomorrow. Yeah, she's always been there for her. What's gonna happen, bro? Because it doesn't look like anyone can handle Vanica. Why did... I mean, obviously, I know why we trained the last six months, but why are these devils so damn OP, you know? She was always the closest to me. See, this really makes me feel like we're going to lose Undine here. This will be our first time losing a... Sp oh, this is creepy as shit. Nero can't do anything. Noel's out for the count. Gaja's and everyone else are fighting. No, she's not. She is a fighter. Yeah, give her some healing mimosa something. Nope, can't even do that. Okay, I just got goosebumps. Let's surpass some limits, please. Especially with her mom, too. Come on. We need to stop. I'm, that would normally hype me up so much. But stabbing does nothing to devils. See? How many times have you stabbed a devil in the chest? Just from the back. Oh! Point blue. <laughs> Red beast. That was a great counter from Vanica. That was a great... I like that attack, though. The, the point blank one. It's like a shotgun water attack. And now... Oh, man. This is what? Noel Silva. They're just gonna leave it right there blank what come on give me some 
I need Noelle to chop Vanica and Megacula's head off. Speaking of chopping heads off, we're back at this fight. All right, some good slashes. Yummy being quick as ever. See, that's what I'm saying. No matter how much we beat them or outskill them, they just use OP devil powers, man. I'll show it just to you. So, I mean, Laura Peshka was saying they can use two types of magic. Of someone who surpasses their limits. Oh, that's the best way to put it, of just an ordinary human. Oh, so he's going full Vanica right now, full devil mode. Yep. Oh my goodness. 80. He's going full 80 right now. <laughs> Mostly black. <laughs> oh. So that's why no matter how strong they are, they can never use 100%. Gravity singularity. That looks like... That looks like a black hole. Which normally would scare me more, but Yami has also black hole. I don't even... That, that looks something like something else. Hmm. Yeah, that was pretty damn strong. Ooh, talk about a jump though. Yeah, I like how he's thinking about this strategically while fighting. I've always loved this shit during a fight. People who are good at this are the best fighters, in my opinion. Meanwhile, he hasn't moved a muscle. I mean, he's moved a muscle. Not a, not a single step, though. This man's right there. He looks deranged. I mean, there's no way a boulder like that's stopping Yami. That man could break that with his fucking nutsack. Come on. Yami Sukahiro? Oh my god, look at his face. I've never seen it like this. Yes. Ooh, the water droplet, dark magic. Oh! It doesn't matter where your heart is in your body if you just <laughs> disapparates your entire body. This man condensed that into a fucking cannon of dark magic. What what do we do? What do we do? What's he gonna do? Oh, you got bits and pieces of his body just floating throughout the Yep. That's what I how? That's what I'm saying. How do we defeat these things? This is not fair. This is truthfully not fair. It's like we're going against the people who have the GTA cheats, you know, down, up, down, down, R1, R2, like. He's <laughs> like, come on, dude. I, what would make you say that, Yami? I'm curious. What about him would make you think that? That's, he's deeply jealous. That's crazy he's admitting that. He's literally saying, Yami. If I didn't have this OP devil in me, you would be shitting on me. The world is unequal and unfair, pretty much. That was a good dodge. I mean, what what can you do? Especially with now that he's using his body morphing powers, that man can go to you, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's broken. And he's still got that shit. Ooh. Ooh, that, oh, that was clean as shit. That was one of the cleanest animated things in the show. He says, so, so, wah. Please have a conversation with your own devil. Something. I want to see that too. <sighs> Asta has to surpass his limits. He has to do something. I don't know what he can do though. Oh, he's trying. He's surpassing, he's trying. Like this man Yami, I was just about to say is on the edge of his limit. Like at this point, even if Finral or Vanessa or anyone were to die, we need to do something to help my man out. Infinite mana. He's a glitch in the matrix. Kid, 
Come on, Asta. While they're playing the music from... I got goosebumps, guys. Come on. With this music, too? Come on. Yami's been there from the beginning. We literally wouldn't be here without this man. <laughs> A million years too early for that. Come on. Come on. Let's help this man out. Come on. The tag team of the decade right here. Come on. Shit's getting me way too geeked up right now. The two buffest men in all of Black Clover. They're not even speaking, bro. They're speaking telepathically. They know you. <laughs> That's some key talk right now. They're speaking key. The episode's gonna end right here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. They're, Black Clover is so dirty for that. You guys are dirty for that. Jesus. Jesus. God damn. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. It was way too many S tier moments. All right. Those fantastic, amazing, unadulterated, epic episodes. Starting with the first one, we have the amazing team up with Mimosa's kind of doing her own thing, still supporting in the way she can versus Lickitung, but the amazing team up between Nero, um, Noel, and Laura Pechka for the water to give a disadvantage to Vanica with the water, you know, diluting the blood, and then to give a speed boost over to Noel, who has her already speed boosted light armor mermaid form. I mean, Noel was, and I said this probably seven times in this show as, as I'm watching it, this is probably the most badass I've seen Noel. Come on. And she just, and I've specifically remembered saying that hundreds of times. So, it, absolutely insane. Vanica, I really enjoy her blood magic, and I really enjoy the fact that all the devil possessed have their own specific body type magic that they could do. I need to, don't even get me started on Dante. I need to still see what's going on with Xenon and fucking William. He's the only one who successfully accomplished his mission so far. His mission so far. Oh my god, absolutely crazy episodes. Yami's dark fucking thrust. Actually insane. And then the end there to have that music with the... You know, with the guitar. And then to be like, Asta, I need you for this. And it's like, god damn. This really does feel like the culmination of the last year and a half watching with you guys. And so it's like... I don't know. This feels like it's so actually insane. I gotta hop into these next episodes, though. I gotta find out what happens. Don't forget, if you guys want to watch this live with me, uncut, check out that Twitch, twitch.tv slash DapperDarius. Also, if you want early access or the normal full link, check out that Patreon. All the links for everything in the description down below. Don't forget the other social medias, uh, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all the DapperDarius. Leave a like, sub subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post on the Dapper channel. Don't forget to drink some water, tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.